Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through this beginner photo manipulation where you can take your photo and add some cool lighting and sparks and glow effects. So let's start with our original photo. I have here this photo of this woman that I found on Stock Exchange, uh, the website where I find most of my stock images, and I'll link it in the description below if you want to work along with me. Now the first thing we want to do is grab our quick selection tool and click out and highlight the area of our photo that we want to bring attention to. Now for this quick selection you want to make sure your brush is at a size of about 10 to 20 not too large but not too small and you also want to make sure it's on add to selection now once you've made the general selection you want to click refine edge and there's a few things you can do you see this area here is choppy so you can paint it in a little bit and you can also adjust the edge with a little bit of feather you know and smooth it out a little bit you can play around with these settings to get a cleaner edge so I'm gonna hit OK because I'm happy with that and what I want to do is go back to any selection tool, right click, and layer via copy. Now, now that you have these fists on a separate layer, you want to make a layer new layer and make sure it's in between your fist and your background or your object in your background. So this new layer is in between my two layers. And here I want to grab my brush tool on the default soft round brush and I'm going to use a size large enough so that I can paint the edges like so. So I'm going to show you here. Change your foreground color to any color you want really. I'm going to use red you could use blue or green or yellow so I'm going to use a red and I'm going to change the opacity to about 70 percent and what I want to do is just paint inside the object so that just the edge gets that little trace glow and I can even lower my brush size a little bit go over areas that stick out like the thumb and get even lower some more and trace more closely along the edge so that it goes from strong red to more dispersed and faded out red. Now I'm just going to kind of highlight the bottom edge and leave this top half alone mostly. Just a slight glow on the top half. I can even go back and erase some parts that I don't want to be as strong. Now the next thing I can do to make this glow look more intense is set my color back to white, take my brush at a much lower size, I can turn my opacity a little higher and my hardness a little higher. Let me turn the hardness back down actually. Okay. So what I want to do is just go through the very close edge and paint that white. And what that does is make the glow look even more white hot. So that's just a personal thing that you can do. And a final touch, you can make your brush really big. Go back to your original color. just kinda get some more of that spread. So now that we have our general glow, the next thing we want to do is create a new layer. I'm going to use the shortcut Shift Command N or you could use Layer New Layer. And with this brush tool that we have out right now, you want to head over to the Brushes panel, which is this one right here. If you can't see it, head over to Window brush and it should open. 
and we want to set a few parameters here. So set the shape dynamics on and set the size jitter all the way up. Set the scattering all the way up and set click brush tip shape here and set the spacing to about 500 percent. You can set the hardness at anywhere from 0 to 100 percent whatever you like. I like to use something around 30. So now I'm going to lower my brush size to about 30 and change the color to white. Let's lower it even some more. Remember to turn the opacity back up Again, let's lower the brush size even more. So something around 10 works best, actually. And you can just kind of trace along the edges to create these cool glowing orbs. And I'm even going to go out of the out of range a little bit to create a little flow of motion there. So as you can see, I'm kind of creating a visual trail of motion. I can even lower my brush size a little more to something like 4 to create a little variation in detail. And just use your eyes to paint that visual trail. Again, the more attention to detail you, you pay, the cleaner and cooler your final image will look but I think something like that works fine for this image. The more uh, you change your brush size up and the hardness and create different variation it could create a cooler image. Now on this layer you want to right click and select blending options and make sure you check outer glow. I like to set the color to white, leave the blending mode to screen and pretty much leave everything else as is. So now if you notice that you've made too many white dots, you can always go to your eraser tool, soft eraser, and bring back some of that original object so that you're not overtaking it with the dots. So I'm happy with that right there. Now what you want to do to create even more of a final touch is duplicate this layer, grab your smudge tool, which is this one right here. Just a regular soft round brush at about the size of 80 to 100 and set the strength to about 75 and just smudge through with, with that same trail of motion. And you notice that creates glowing streaks. which is a nice little detail that you can add and you can even lower the opacity of that a little bit if it's too strong and as a final touch we can just add some overall color because my original image was black and white and head over to there's lots of ways you can add color for this I'm just going to do a simple color balance so I'm going to go to image adjustments color balance uh, check preserve luminosity and just give it a, a oh I gotta create a new adjustment layer actually make sure you're not focusing on one layer so I'm gonna go to layer new adjustment layer color balance and that should be what I want again make sure preserve lu luminosity is checked so I'm going to give it a red tint adjusting the highlights and a little bit of blue with the shadows So as you can see, this really brings attention to the object that we wanted, creates a cool looking final image that actually was not as complex as it looks. Uh, a bit more details that you want to add would be to blur out the background and make sure the object is in focus. Now that was already the case in my original photo, the photographer had that depth of field. But if they didn't, what you can do is go to layer new layer, go to image, 
apply image and then you can grab your blur tool at a really large size 100% strength and just go over and keep blurring the areas that you don't want and then you can even lower your brush size that way you create a little more of a focus on the object at hand but if you're using the photo I was using here you see that was already the case so that helps add to our final illusion but overall I hope this showed you what you can do with some simple layer tricks and brush tricks and hopefully you can create something like this replicate this or just be inspired to create a manipulation of your own if you like this tutorial please check out my channel and I really appreciate if you would subscribe so you can be updated when I release new tutorials again I have dozens of more tutorials on my page so check out my channel subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments below if you have any problems or questions I'll be glad to answer them if you leave me a comment below or send me a message thanks for watching justice good here and I'll see you next time